Hello, in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to turn a photograph into a smart object so that you can easily drop in your designs. Now, one thing I wanna say before we get started, this was an image that I purchased off of Etsy. Make sure that you are purchasing the photograph. It is illegal to just grab something off of the internet and do this, you need to own the image. Um, I got this for I think $5 on Etsy. It's just a, a card mock-up. So you don't have to spend that much, but just make sure that you are um, purchasing your photos before you go ahead and do this. Something I found this really useful for is a lot of times I'm on Etsy looking for a mock-up and it doesn't come as a PSD file, as a smart object. It only comes as a JPEG. So it's usually cheaper as a JPEG too. So I'll just buy the JPEG and then make the smart object myself. So what we're gonna do is I'm in Photoshop. I've brought this, this photograph into Photoshop and I'm gonna come over here and grab my rectangle tool. And I'm gonna make this black so that you guys can see it. But I'm just holding down my mouse and making a rectangle. And then I'm going to release my mouse and I'm going to move it so it's kind of centered here. It does not have to be perfect. I'm gonna make it a little bit more not perfect so you guys can see what you need to do here. <clears throat> Your square should be white. I'm just doing it black so that you guys can see this. So now what I'm gonna do is I need to tra transform this so that I'm able to pull it into the corners here. I'm on a Mac, I'm gonna hit Command T. Then I'm gonna hold down Command and grab this little corner and you can see it moves however I want it to move, and I'm gonna move it to the corner of that photo's card, because I want it to fit perfectly on here. I'm gonna do that with all my corners. Um, you can even zoom in if you need to get a little bit closer. So that looks pretty good. There's a little edge over here that needs a little help, okay? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to now change this to white because I don't want it to be black. Okay, that's fine. I'm going to go ahead and select blending options, select multiply. So it kind of, if there's texture underneath, it'll grab that texture. Then I'm going to come up to layer and convert to smart object. So now this is a smart object, meaning I can double click and it's opening up a new um, tab. I'm just going to drop in some artwork of mine. Um, this I made this card as a A6 size, but this original photo is an A7, so I'm just going to make my artwork the same size. Hit enter then command S, so save this, and it will automatically apply it to your photograph. Super easy. What I suggest doing is um, if you wanna save this, obviously you wanna save this file. You don't wanna have to do this every single time. Um, I'll put add your design here, and then come back here, unclick that, and then, oops, I'm sorry, delete that. Okay, <laughs> because I saved it, it's saved on here, but make sure you go ahead and save this PSD file as is so that you can just have a smart object whenever you open up. So super, super easy way to make a smart object out of a photo.